On a gorgeous fall day on the UK campus, a group of students is actually inside the walls of the Keene Library, poring over university archives. But this isn't for class. They're using their free time to learn more about how the Veterans Club at UK got its start more than 60 years ago. So we thought we were the first of its kind. We thought we were the first veterans, student veterans organization on campus. Um, so in, in a sense, we had to make our own rules, uh, uh, kind of trudge through some of the policies and procedures. When I saw that there was a student veteran club, um, we tried to scour through all of their collection, read their constitution, read through all of their publications and all of the literature that they had so we could learn from the past. A past that intrigues Tyler and his fellow club members. They have so many pictures of Iwo Jima, uh, of all kinds of just specific invasions, World War II, Germany. It was just kind of crazy just to see those in real life, real pictures that were just parts of snapshots of history that you just don't usually see. They had a, a publication from 1944 to 1949 that was not only for veterans, but very similar to the Colonel, uh, but catered to veterans issues. There were 4,500 veterans here at the University of Kentucky uh, back between 1944 and 1949. They divested in 1949 long enough for after the World War II uh, for them to get through school four to five years. So in 1949, um, the, the club started to dissolve. And now in 2009, there's another surge in the number of veterans going to college. Post 9-11, um, a lot of members joined the military, spent their four to eight years in the service, and now they're getting out. There's tremendous benefits to be had uh, with the 9-11, uh, post 9-11 GI Bill. So we're seeing a huge influx of veterans coming on campus. So as these current veterans pour through the memories of their post-World War II counterparts, they notice a few differences. They had to write letters to their members. Uh, they kept a lot better notes than we did. Um, just thousands and thousands of pages archived uh, from typewriter notes. They kept immaculate books. Uh, they were very well organized. They were a little more well dressed than we were. But these students find motivation in the group's similarities. It was very humbling just to see all, just how their group was so much similar to our group and the way they were just involved in the community and just all about helping students. We have a lot to learn about what they did and what we can accomplish, um, how we can sustain the organization, and just how we can help veterans on and off campus get through school, retain veterans so that they can graduate. Nationally, on average, uh, student veterans GPA is subpar as compared to the traditional students that attend uh, universities. So we're working with the administration to come up with ways in which we can increase uh, student veterans GPAs and come up with ways to increase retention. Work that Tyler hopes older veterans notice. I think they would be very proud to see that um, the veterans of today are carrying on the tradition 60 years later. Any way we can help pave the way, just the way they paved the way for us with steps in the Montgomery GI Bill and uh, setting forth a lot of our veteran benefits, we can do the same thing now and have something for the future generations of veterans to look at and just build from our shoulders. For the University of Kentucky, I'm Amy Jones.